My name is Lee. My business name is Drone Heights, and I've been building drones for about seven years now. My drone passion has been one of the main reasons I chose the major I, I have today. I'm, I'm a mechanical engineering major here at Georgia Southern. And I chose that major because I loved drones so much. I used my drone as a competition piece and made an aluminum canopy for my most recent drone. So for me, the hobby is more than just a hobby. It's a, it's a career that I'm trying to pursue. I in fact made a small business in high school selling drones to different housing companies so that they could use those drones to, to get aerial footage of rooftops. And it's really fun just learning how to build different things and, and how things work on YouTube. And a bigger part of that, I'd say, is actually going through and actually trying it yourself. Uh, so when I saw all those first drone videos, I kind of wanted to try my hand at it. I built my first drone, but I do recommend buying your first drone. If you build your first drone and you don't understand how they fly, it's really hard to not only build and code a drone, but to learn how to fly it on your own too. I love making drones because it pushes me to learn more on the engineering side. The whole process to me is very fun and intriguing, and that has been one of the main reasons that I've stuck with it. I've built a lot of drones. Over the course of, of that time, I've noticed that each drone does have, I guess, like a personality to it. The drone that I just built right now has parts in it that can make it fly 80 miles per hour, 80 or 90 miles per hour. So my first drones were huge, they were like 12 inches in prop diameter. And that drone, it flew more like a tank than an airplane or a helicopter, so each drone does have a different personality. You can tell that just by looking at the drones. I spent about... I'd say like eight or so hours per week just working on my drone, taking it apart and rebuilding it in a, in a better way. Uh, drone coding is one of the hardest things. It's, it's something that takes me a few hours to do after the actual build, but you're never really done with the drone coding aspect. What you're really doing is you're controlling how you want the, the drone to fly, whether you want it to fly more aggressive, more, more fast-paced like in, in racing, or you want it to fly more smooth like in cinematic drone videos. FPV is first-person view. Uh, one thing that I, I ran into when I first got into FPV was when I was flying with FPV, I would literally like lean left or right based off of where I was turning and like what flips I was doing. So like I would have to catch myself like almost falling down just because I was like trying to go really fast and my brain was still in my body so I was like leaning my body forward and almost falling. Flying drones makes me feel happy. It makes me feel bigger than I am just because you're always seeing the world through your two eyes on the ground, but with a drone you can see the world from a different perspective. Flying a drone without goggles is completely different than flying a drone with the goggles. As soon as you put the goggles on, I wouldn't even say it's like VR, just because with VR, like, you know you're playing a game. So I guess that risk is, is gone, but when you're flying a drone, like, not only is this real, not only are you doing this in real time, but if you mess up, if you crash, that's like hundreds of dollars down the drain. I'd compare flying a drone to, like, being on a roller coaster. 
that has like no boundaries, no limits. My future goals are just to explore the world from, from a different perspective, a different view. Pictures of different places are great, but I do think that seeing the world from, from the skies is something that many people are missing out on. And using drones and quadcopters to, to show those different views and those different heights is going to be so cool. If you're ever debating whether or not to get into this hobby, I guarantee you, you won't regret it. From your first drone to your 10th, when each drone takes thousands of dollars to put in the sky, you won't regret it. You can see the tops of mountains, you can fly over rivers and, and, and forests from the comfort of a chair. That's so cool to me, that aspect of drones is so cool to me. So that's why I'm sticking with it so much. My name's Lee, I'm a mechanical engineering major, and I'm the founder of Drone Heights.